Welcome back, Melissa here. The dogs and I are just walking the trails. Yesterday I came out the trails by myself. Something I never get to do. Very few times do I come out the trails by myself. I was able to get to the mini cabin, do some staining for Mike, so I have some of that to show you. And it feels a little strange heading out with, without them. Very few times can I say I've walked these trails by myself without the hunter or the dog. Okay, we are less than a week away from Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays for a few reasons. I love it that uh, it's a big food holiday. So Thanksgiving may look a little different this year. In our family situation or at our dinner table. And I have many things, many, many things to give thanks for. look the same and I'd like to carry that spirit and share with everyone all year round but it's not a gift giving holiday it's, um, it prepares you for the season we're moving in after the Thanksgiving you move into the Christmas season so Thanksgiving prepares us to have a great part moving into the Christmas season Okay, I'm walking up the trail, just about to the mini cabin, and uh, look what I see on a tree. Standing in front of this tree, look, can you see that? Okay, do you know what it is? It's part of a brown metal chair. I will tell you this, when Mike had the um, diamond disc mulcher, which was incredible, that thing, it cleared trails and was anything in its path, it mulched it. it. Mike hit the brown metal chair that was out here, obviously. The chair is missing, so I'm now figuring out what happened to it. It got mulched and part of it is stuck up in that tree. Isn't that crazy?
I'm heading back to the house. Did some staining for Mike. And uh, it just, it's crazy to walk these trails with no dogs. Whew. Hopefully they don't see me coming in the back gate. And uh, we'll see. And if they do, hopefully they forgive me. Okay, last time I threw a stick for him, it hit one of those bulbs and smashed. Yeah. Here we are at the back gate. Piper, Ruger, Archie. We're gonna go out the trail, we'll the bring you along. <laughs> oh my goodness. It busts through that gate like it's Black Friday and they just opened the doors to a big sale. Uh, we should have an attitude of gratitude. Um, yeah, and then take that with us daily and you will see if uh, you dedicate time every day of giving thanks for something in your life. If it, you find just one thing the first day and the next day two things or if you challenge yourself to find five things in the next day you find 10 things and do that consistently for seven days, you will be amazed with all of the things in your life that you have to be thankful for. And it'll really change how you look at things. Okay, a quote from an excellent video I, video I saw yesterday from a global religious leader, Russell N. Nelson. I can share the link to that video in the description of this video, but he said, counting our blessings is far better than recounting our problems. It's true. Check it out. Okay, here I am, man in the fire. It was uh, Mike's lunch break and Hunter's promised I'll take in a little bit. Well, a little bit is right now. So I'm here with my pitchfork man in the fire. It's also interesting to watch the traffic um, see the smoke? I guess that's why way back in the day they used smoke as a signal. People slow down just to make sure everything's okay, which is uh, very neighborly. I appreciate okay, that. Hi, I'm in the Jeep. I just got back from dropping a card off for a friend of ours. Their daughter's getting married, but they had a drive-by. You could just drive up, drop your gift and card off at the sidewalk of their home. It was really cute. They had a tent off the sidewalk, it was decorated so sweet. I did get a really cute, look at this cute little box. It's a miniature little pie with a miniature little fork on it. Isn't that so cute? And they gave me a cup of, I think this is hot cider. So that was sweet. I just came down to check on the fire. day and the end of the fire almost. Hope you all well. Thank you so much for um, commenting. Uh, subscribing, liking, 
We sure do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. I stuck the end of a lettuce in a glass jar, sat it on my counter, starting to grow, and look, all those roots. So cool. is good practice. This will help you get ready to baste your turkey. You know, you want to just get some uh, paint or stain, get your wrist moving like this, get you all warmed up. You know, you can't go wrong. Get that turkey ready. I believe the more butter, the better. Jinx? Yeah, I think you have. This is Jinx the cat. 